Alright, in this video, we are going to take a look at how to update an Angular 5 application to Angular 6. And I have chosen the services and HTTP application for this demo because it involves a bit of RxJS as well. So this one right here, you can find it on my GitHub repo. Now to help us with upgrading from one version to the other, the Angular team has put together a nice tool. And you can find this tool at update.angular.io. Over here, you can select the different options to help you upgrade your Angular application. So let's select what is applicable for us. Now I want to upgrade from Angular 5 to Angular 6. From version, I'm going to select 5.0 because that is our current project version. You can notice that in package.json, all our Angular packages are 5.0.0. So from version 5.0 to version 6.0, we are upgrading to Angular 6. Next, the tool asks how complex our application is. Ours is a very basic app, so I'm going to leave it to the default value of basic, but you can select medium and advanced as well. Next is ng upgrade. Now we don't really make use of AngularJS, so we can leave this box unchecked. And lastly, select the appropriate package manager. Now our project uses npm as the package manager, but if you have a project that uses yarn, by all means select yarn. Now we can click on the button show me how to update. And you can see that the tool gives us information on what has to be done before updating, during the update, and after the update. So let's follow these instructions to update our Angular application. Now the first step is before updating, switch from HTTP module and the HTTP service to HTTP client module and HTTP client service. Now, if we go back to our application and open app.module.ts, you can notice that we are already using HTTP client module. Now, in your application though, if you are still using the older HTTP module, make sure to switch to HTTP client module. So for our application, there is no need of any steps to be taken before updating. So I'm going to mark this as done. Now let's begin the update process. The first step, you need to make sure you're using node 8 or later. So open command prompt and run the command node hyphen v. Now this gives us the version of node installed in our system. So I have version 8.9.1. If you however don't have at least version 8, just install node again and it will update to the latest version. So let's mark this as done as well. The next step is to update your Angular CLI globally and locally. And for that, you can see that the tool recommends running the following three commands. The first command, npm install g Angular CLI is for the global update. npm install at Angular CLI without the dash g option is for the local project version and then we need to run ng update at angular slash cli to make the necessary changes in our project. Now all of the commands are present right here. To update angular cli, I prefer using their own github repo page. So go to the readme section of angular cli on github and scroll down to the updating angular cli section of the page. Now if you scroll down a bit further, it mentions how to update the global package and the local package. So we are going to run these commands. Now to update angular cli globally, we need to run three commands. npm uninstall dash g at angular slash cli to uninstall the current version npm cache verify to verify your cache and then npm install dash g at angular slash cli at latest. Now I am not going to run these commands because I have run them beforehand. But you make sure that you have the latest version of angular cli installed. And how do you verify the version of cli installed in your machine? 
open command prompt and run the command ng-v. Now you can see that we get an error and that is because we are inside the services and HTTP project folder. This doesn't have a local version of Angular CLI. So I'm going to go up one level, cd dot dot, and now I'm going to run the command ng-v. You can see that the Angular CLI word art is present and Angular CLI 6.0.0 is the current version. Now, if at all you face an error when installing the latest version of Angular CLI, run the command npm cache clean dash dash force. This is going to force clear your cache and then run the command npm install dash g at angular slash cli at latest. So force clear your cache and run the installation command again. That should work. Next, we need to update Angular CLI locally in the project. So in the command prompt, make sure you're in the project folder. So cd into the project folder. And now to update, let's go back and take a look at the commands. So you can see here the commands to update local project package. The first command is to remove the node modules folder. Now we in our project right now, don't have a node modules folder, so we can skip this. Next, we need to run the command npm install dash dash save dash dev angular cli latest. So copy the command, go back to command prompt and paste the command. Let's run this. And once the command completes, in the package json file, you should now have angular cli with version 6.0.0. All right, now that we have the latest version locally as well, we have the privilege of running the new ng update command. So let's go back to update.angular.io and you can notice here that the third command is to run ng update at angular slash cli. And in fact, once you install the latest version of cli locally, you can see that that is the recommendation as well. Run the command ng update at angular slash cli. The command completed successfully and made a couple of updates. The major change here is that you can see that angular cli.json has been deleted and a new file angular.json has been created. This angular.json is the new cli config file moving forward in version 6. All right, that completes our second step. So let's mark it as done. The third step is to update all of your Angular framework packages to version six and the correct version of RxJS and TypeScript. And for that, we need to run the command ng update at angular slash core. So copy the command, go back to command prompt and paste it. Now you can see that the command did not complete and throws an error in compatible peer dependencies found. So what we are going to do is run the same command, but this time forcing it. So add the dash dash force option. After the command completes, make sure the Angular dependencies are now version six. So go back to package JSON and you can see that all Angular packages are now 6.0.0. Also, make sure RxJS is at least version 6 and then TypeScript is version 2.7.2. .2. Alright, with that, we are done updating our application to Angular 6. Let's try running our application now. I'm going to open the integrated terminal, run the command ngserve o. And there you go, our application is working. All right, with that, we are done updating our application to Angular 6. We can mark this as done. And since we do not use Angular material, we can mark this as done as well. And then we don't really have to run the ng update command again. So our updation is complete. Now that the update is complete, let's try running our application. 
So open the terminal, run the command ng serve dash o. And our application is working. So we have successfully migrated our application from Angular version 5 to Angular version 6. But if I go back to the update guide, you can see that we have a few steps to complete after the update. Why should we do this? Our application is working as expected. Now here's the thing. When we run the command ng update at angular slash core, what it does is it also adds a package rxjs hyphen compat to our application. And this is a compatible version of rxjs for angular 6. So our application right now is using this package instead of the latest rxjs package. Now we can continue using our application with the compatible package. However, by removing that, we are going to significantly decrease the size of our application. So for the final part of our application, we have to remove deprecated rxjs6 features. So let's see how to do that. Before we make changes in the application, let me point out the breaking changes in RxJS 6. The first one is regarding the imports. Imports are now simplified. The creation methods, type, schedulers, and utilities are just imported from RxJS. And all operators are now imported from RxJS slash operators. So these are the only two imports you have to be concerned with for our application. The next change is some of the operators were renamed. So catch has been renamed to catch error, do has been renamed to tap, finally to finalize, switch to switch all, and also some observable creation methods have been renamed as well. So throw is now throw error, and from promise is now just from. Also the final concern for us is with RxJS 6, chaining operators has been replaced by piping the result of one operator to another. So let's fix all these breaking changes in our application. So go back to Visual Studio Code and the first step is to resolve our imports and the recommended approach is to use RxJS TSLint package. And that is what you can see here in the update guide as well. So remove the features, deprecated features using RxJS TSLint auto update rules. And for most applications, this will mean running the following two commands. The first command is npm install dash g rxjs hyphen tslint. So copy the command, go back to command prompt, and then paste it. And then we have to run the second command, migrating rxjs 5 to 6. Before I run this command, I want you to closely take a look at the existing code. So I'm going to go back to Visual Studio Code and I have opened employee.service.ts. A couple of things I want to point out. You can see that observable is imported from rxjs slash observable. The catch operator is imported from operator slash catch. Throw is imported from add slash observable slash throw. In the code, we have http.get and then we directly chain the operators, so dot .catch. And then in the error handler, we have dot .throw on the observable. So make a clear note of what I've pointed out. Now let's run the command. So copy this command. Make sure you're inside the project folder and then run the command. Now as the command is executing, you should be seeing changes in the import statements as well as the code. All right, there you go. The command completed successfully. Now let's take a look at the changes. You can see that observable is now imported from RxJS. Throw has been renamed to throw error and then imported again from RxJS. Catch has been renamed to catch error and imported from RxJS slash operators. If you take a look at the code, you can see that we don't directly chain the operators anymore. So we don't have dot catch. Instead, we pipe them. So dot pipe and within this pipe method, we have catch replaced with catch error and then error handler. 
and in the error handler instead of observable dot throw we have observable throw error which is the alias for throw error so you can see that with just or by just running one command we were able to upgrade from rxjs5 to rxjs6 in our code and regarding the pipe method if you have any more operators all you have to do is spe specify with a com so regarding piping you need to specify now comma separated values so catch error followed by or prepended by map perhaps or tap and so on but the bottom line is we have migrated from rxjs5 to rxjs6 and now that the migration is complete let's mark this as done and you can see here that the last step is once you and all your dependencies have updated to rxjs6 remove the rxjs compat package so over here npm uninstall rxjs hyphen compat all right now if i open package.json you can see that we don't have the compatible package anymore it has been successfully removed from our application now i can run the command ng serve dash o our application works as expected but this time with rxjs6 now as an extra step you can even go with the new syntax for providing a service so in employee.service.ts in the injectable decorator we can specify the object provided in root and in app.module.ts we can remove the import for employee service and then we can remove it from the providers array so now if we save this and run our application you can see that it still works perfectly fine we have successfully managed to migrate our application from angular 5 to angular 6 which is dependent on rxjs 6 and typescript 2.7.2 all right then if you found this video to be helpful please click on the like button make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video